All right, we got it. Third time's the charm, man. Hey, what's up, everybody? Crispy Bacon Wizard here. I didn't think I was gonna get this to display correctly. Um, today we're playing After Party, the game that came out on Xbox Game Pass uh, uh, about a couple weeks ago, I think. I started this one uh, a couple days uh, days ago, but now I'm starting over just to stream from the beginning. Hey, hola, Richie. Hey, sorry, I'd uh, look really close on your name. I'm a little bit far from my monitor, so it's hard to read names and stuff sometimes. What's going on today? How you doing? Alright, let's get started on this game, too. Hey, huzzah. This game goes straight into the game. I had to, like, bring up my menu. Because it goes straight into some dialogue. The graphics on this game were just you know, got a weird style. I've played like maybe 15 minutes of this, but I'm starting it over for stream. We're over. How you doing, Hazan? What? Golly, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, right. there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay. We came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go Lola, before we get Milo. recognized. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance I abuse? Got read. Oh, okay, cool. Good luck, man. Love that. That y your outfit, Lola. Yeah, this is... It's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung up with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go. We're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. When you no, not like Bully. Uh, drunk, let's get a drink. Like, right now. Come on. It's going to be a more of a narrative-based thing. They did uh, another game like this where you're on an island and you talk with your friends and you're... <laughs> It's got a story Katie, to it. She's gonna be starting uh, here in the I forget the name of it. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never ever, ever. I know now, but... Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on! They have a right It's supposed to have pretty funny writing in it. that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? Uh, it really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? Yeah, I, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention! All skin bags do not have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. Ooh, okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was, don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. Wear pants. Not just for when you're out, either. You're not top cat. And get yourself one of those sperm-killing cyborg arm implants. I am not playing. Oh, uh, okay? Better not see your ass posting about a flare in sciatica, all right? Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the... I meant it when I said you were wonderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> she seemed fine. She was just, you know, happy to be done with this, I guess. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you wanna go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. 
This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> Wanna you crack me up, though. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, thanks. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? Because I have. And all my teachers said I was very smart. <laughs> maybe... Maybe your personality... <clears throat> Wouldn't it be funny if... If, like, we all had souls and, and you, like, didn't? You didn't know how to feel? You're Dido. Milo. Milo! Yes. You're the one blood, and then immediately you're human. Like, like I'm the one that finished the triathlon behind that, that wheelchair guy? I gave you a nickname, right? The Recycler? Ch well, <laughs> nice catch it up. Have a great summer. Bye. Shit lips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should... Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go for it. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, gore? Oh, if he doesn't get his off. Oh my god, I couldn't help but overhear you guys jizzing all over another artistically useful. Colonel Shit, did you s As good as the sights say, so. But all. Remember, they kept. Okay, well, good to see you guys. Keep it. Keep it up. To mingle, why are you sheepdogging me? I pooped out of my mouth once. <laughs> How okay. sad is this? People think this about is us. Weird. We graduated from a popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary. What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you. Everyone, hairy people, your attention, please. Milo and Lola here. Actually, this is. That's probably two separate people. Uh, is this like this? But both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do my gig. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, are you? Uh, oh my god, your, your skin! It, it's... Lola, I. What? Is this a. <laughs> oh, look at this! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I. What is. <laughs> look at his dumb face! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You wanna know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? Hey, Mr. Matamantis! No, we were just assisting in the transition I between- I hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, <laughs> Lola, pony you're blood. late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. That did double double time it? Whoa, now I'm impressed. Are you like three kids under there or one Bosnian? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What the, what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What I uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. <laughs> and the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, you're, I want this place You're spotless. probably used to this, but I... Uh, we have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. Hey! Uh... I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have Ty Cobb. 
asshole. So spoiler alert, the Sox are losing. Remember when Alpha Phi said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit? Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and they made out with a rose bush. But this <laughs> isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR Dang. lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember. Like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We... We had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. Look, right now, I can maybe remember 20 full days of my whole entire life. So I can't really say with absolute certainty I didn't purposely run over a giraffe at some point. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening. Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating. The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, don't look at me. I held out hope for something after the blimp explosion I planned on dying in. Just, this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. Wrong vacation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey, hey kids. Hey, you wanna buy rug? Listen, I got no decahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes. Here. Here. Marcy, how you doing? Mm, You're processed into here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, sir, I... we think there's been a mistake since, uh... Please hold all stupid questions and dumb comments till after this part so I don't have to deal with it. Thank you. <laughs> How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Uh, I... my friends usually call me Milo. Uh, a little over-eager pluralizing friends there, but okay, I'm <laughs> sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is there an Abby here? Abigail Cunningham. Here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, good, that's you. Miss Cunningham, did you die with any metal on you, any pieces of tin? No, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, sometimes the Aztec judges mistake it for a bribe. I've seen guys end up somebody's bocce ball just because they forgot they were wearing a dream catcher. Table two. Okay, that's... this must be us. No. Well, it's funny. I... kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... 
I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. <laughs> we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell and we are dead. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This, That's this is Johnson. insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has there's been a mistake. We don't we don't even know why or how we died, so... Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So, when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. But... But I can remember Lola. I can remember my parents, what I wanted to do after school. Then that and ten other things are the stuff you cared about when you were alive. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. <laughs> Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll okay. tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay. Cool. All right, Lola. Which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have. That's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? You see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right. Fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Hey, two points. Side coordination. <laughs> I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh. round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, phone? Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like, breaking bones? Ho, 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 what could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow. The sultan of revulsion. The drain on your brain. That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! That's How pretty How incarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you. With anyone, really. It, it's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team. A real partner. Like something like Beetlejuice. Oh, crap. There's two? Uh, I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. Let, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Longhorn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. You're hungry, I'm hungry. Jump in Christ, what is, where, what are... Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean?
Weird. Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. <laughs> okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Her torture? I, I thought... Doesn't well, hell just we're going to hell for eating so chicken? I don't yeah, know. I didn't know there were seat assignments. I would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment. But yes, you all get different shit that happens to you. Abigail Cunningham. Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. <laughs> I always have more than 15 things. <laughs> what? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I... We just did this like two minutes ago. Sir, um, sir, excuse me, but we, we are actually good people. I know you're eager to start eating worms and pissing sand, but this will just be a moment. All right. Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? Dang. Children, use your head like a tether ball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow Dang. larger every day, giving you intense back pain oh, when you jog. Okay. But, but we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, oh, yeah. for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get <laughs> drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, <laughs> you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Right. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh it's I'm I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopath. <laughs> friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a cab driver. A ferryman to be uh, specific. Oh, a psycho. Yeah, you you got it. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, home. Topside. Earth? If, if that's, if, if that's possible. Home. Mm. The props assist the house until the house is built. Yeah, doctors do warn you that you don't get to take the drapes when that fastball catches the side of your head. You're saying we're stuck here. She's saying we're stuck here. No, it's it's just it's a tall order. That's all. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo, Miss Lola. I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. <laughs> what the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Well, she'd start out pointing the other way. Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right too. It's not like God takes attendance. Uh, reincarnation's a thing, but it's kind of like having triplets. It's pretty rare. Usually means there are a lot of hormone supplements involved. And if you don't know why you're here... Yes? I can't tell you. Because you don't know, or...? Because I don't know. 
Only your assigned processor demon and loose. Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. Oh, I cut off the thing. I should give her a name. Oh, okay. Never really had the time though, or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's uh, the the seat's wet. Oh yeah, that's probably urine. Okay, everybody <laughs> in. Great. That's probably urine. So you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. Oh, it keeps stuttering. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. Huh, not the River Styx was a myth, like cat outfits that they actually enjoy wearing. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. <laughs> and I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so. Hey, I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, we'd have a lot more Polish people today. But uh, things are a little different yeah. here, so just do what I say hey, and stay hey, out of the Sam! river. Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and chairs next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? So, not that either okay. of you asked, but this is first an Izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. First an Izzard? Why is it called First and Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York <laughs> called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any <laughs> kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. <laughs> Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Okay. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. Schoolyard strangler. I've you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hi. How's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get oh, there. Okey smokey, who's drinking? Because I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, because we're in hell. So we're going to be all right in there, right? Sure. Just uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. <laughs> Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just okay. drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are you? 
Hey, Forney, perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. We looked adorable at the person found, okay? She was powerless to resist. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. Relax. We'll get into your thing in a bit. Just follow me. Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a uh, Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. Oh, okay. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Um... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How are you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? Well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm hmm, kind of surprised I still have all my teeth? Nah, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here- And, <laughs> sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, Cass and Jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's <laughs> been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Oh, okay. Let's go. Cheers. A little local up here. A little fire. <laughs> Uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful <laughs> what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fuck? What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, a uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday. Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. <laughs> Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, <laughs> brass bulls tend to make people a little ordinary. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. T -t Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> Hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this tomorrow's eve? A fine selection, let That's me tell you. Things. Oh. It's more on the way out. 
slightly more enjoyable than death. Favorite Alexander the Great. Uh, the, uh, the, the last one. One there. bloody stool coming up for Milo here. He wants a big bloody stool. <laughs> Nasty. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out? It's happy hour at Chili's. Look, nobody here wants <laughs> to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, Happy and people too. understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. Oh, okay. God. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more out there, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Wait, maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... T How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem like... Advanced. Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to, trying to. Oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it serious? I was six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't work here. Do I look like I work here? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steam because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie. <laughs> right, Georgie, the talking platypus. Well, you can only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. I'm okay. Insane, man. Yeah, that is so great. Jesus. I mean, not that I can talk. I used to hunt my stuffed animals before I knew what the word burgeoning meant. I got sent to an institution because oh, okay. no one would believe me. I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. I was six years old. I thought the Easter Bunny was real. Danny, come on, you had to know. Maybe you even enjoyed it a little, right? You sick weirdo. <laughs> of course he enjoyed it. You loved when I broke your dad's leg or I made your mom think the cat could talk. Hey, it was a goof. It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad. Hey, if I have to warn you one more time. I'm sitting, I'm sitting. Look, I just came over to say hi, okay? And I don't hold any bad feelings about you plunging that crucifix into my felt and cutting off my vacation early. You don't have any bad feelings? You don't have any! Keep it down, guys, or I'm coming over there. You know, you could really cut the sexual tension here with a damn butter knife. Sexual tension? You think I even like this guy? <laughs> hey, what the hell did I do except push your grandmother out through your high-rise window? That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret this and he loved you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that! Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter. And it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be dirty. Hey, Van Dyke. Where's uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bounds are left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. Well, first, we get there. Two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Get me a famous last words. Uh oh, okay. Is 
This game's weird. Alright, now we go upstairs. I wonder how long this game is. I'm gonna put the short one. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulane's Death Day Celebration! I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. But, but he was... He was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. What, uh, what did Fornius want? You guys seem pretty, uh, secretive. Don't say secretive like that, it's disgusting. But I can't really get into it, cause I don't really want to. I'll just <laughs> say that I think his eyes are bigger than his stomach. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the <laughs> fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Just tell us how to bust out of this joint, okay? I don't need the history lesson. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. <laughs> back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. So, um, <laughs> but you're saying the only way out of hell is out-drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out-party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> this game is weird. It's kind of interesting, though. She didn't get to drink her drink. I didn't ever have to take control of her. go where they want you to go, kind of thing. The other stuff that's going to be to look at. Uh, 
how uh, long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? <laughs> I don't go on many adventures, but... I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fare? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell. The first circle, mind you, so... It's not that bad. But still, hey, she was sent there because she won't go most of her life. The guy that thinks no one ever cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Oh, uh, okay, cool. I mean, it's not like we have any choice in the matter, right? Nope. Having insecurities and being as smart as a dolphin are a package deal. But we'll have fun. <laughs> or I hope we will. I I'm still... I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like a... Uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Korea Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, hard. Uh, the plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, <laughs> okay. you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. How, how am I supposed to work with that? Can't you just, like, leave us alone? Go play a round of hell golf. Take the, take the day off. Can you take the day off from having to go to the bathroom? Then no, I can't take the day off. <laughs> well, actually, some days I don't go at all, so... Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds, like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! Anyway, my ride's just up here. Let uh, me know. We came with you. All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? <laughs> First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song. What's the sounds not stuttering? Everybody falls into the reference trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. Two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. <laughs> and second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. Okay, but well, he's like evil, though, right? Like he invented evil? Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented uh, dissent, opposition. The idea of uh, going another way. Of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your own thing. It smells like bullshit to me. A lot of assholes would say they're just going their own way. I never said it didn't make him an asshole. Okay, I can see the lights. I'm almost there. Hold on.
Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. So. <laughs> Is this the foundation? You know, of I always get nervous house. before mm -hmm. walking into parties like you lived here. I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. Can we get to skip no, the line? There's, there has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch <laughs> of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... Here's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. Um, hello. Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up, unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. Oh, I'm very safe. My last inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. <laughs> Just let me know when you want to go up one. All right, yes. Head in on up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. <laughs> Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Standing in line or standing in this exact spot? Next time. Uh, this exact spot? Something like two days. Winston. And how long in line? Mm. I don't know. I remember people were really excited about faxing things. Hey, fax my ass! God, I don't miss the 80s. <laughs> okay. More ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh no, quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Hi, we'd like to... Yes, I'm perfectly safe. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Fenio, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different different name. Okay, we'd like to uh, go up, please. Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two organ donors headed up. <laughs> oh, all right. I take take it take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am, and turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. Third floor, everybody out. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, they used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Okay. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing apples, bananas, 
carrots, donkeys, earworms, footballs, and... There's a time limit here. What comes after F? G. I'm bringing... uh, shit. Time's up. Gadzooks! I'm... I'm... I'm bringing Gadzooks. That's not a thing you can bring. Mm -hmm. Let's change the game up. Come on. I'm sorry I'm being whiny. It's just... My arms are starting to weigh me down. How about 21 questions? Only minerals? Fine. I'll, I'll start. I'll think of one. Just, uh... Yeah, give me a minute. I guess that's it. That one wasn't interesting. Question marks look sassy. Hey, uh, can we, uh. First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think we look alike, but I'm Spandrel, <laughs> the third floor carriage. No, 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 we. we don't. And second, yeah, I've been inspected, honey. What, you wanna check my ass for tags, check my balls, see if I've been fixed? Okay, <laughs> we're getting a little in the weeds here. I, um, we're sorry, okay, we're just. Just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's all right. It's just this is my shit. I'm unloading on you. Don't, don't worry about it. <sighs> it's been a long night. Watch your shit. Don't drop it through the cage. I'm not diving down. To you. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Cause Satan likes to keep demons employed. That's why. <laughs> Fourth floor. Get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smash Mouth should have called himself Mouth Smash. Change my mind. Uh, okay. hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Want to go up? Great, great. That's yes. Thank you. Your uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top, Zabulba, 616, Wilkin Way. Everybody out! Oh shit, Jerry, I, I mean Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's, what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. <laughs> you get in the back, no cuts. It's not about you. It's pretty user focused. I mean, what's the point of social media if it's not a mirror reflecting <laughs> your every insecurity? Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you can't. Um, hey, can we can we go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. <laughs> Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> 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 Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Okay, cool. Look, Bicker. here. There's the Twitter. I see two of them, yes. and uh, we only need one. Uh, whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's... there's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda. 
who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Awesome, let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Two places I can go. Which one's which? Oh well, I don't guess that matters. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll help get somebody. a map it's not a actually go there fast travel uh, so do I have to run by how's this work is this the uh, the VIP entrance what gave it away was it the everything move to the side if you don't have passes Okay, you're a demon with needs. I'm a demon, a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? You can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on. Yep, that would be the only thing. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep. We should regroup with Sam. Figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Gate closing. Going down. I thought that guy was in the cage, too. That demon. <laughs> are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? Well, your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. It just... <laughs> it gives you a little oomph. I like it when you're taller than me. I'm just saying, heel boots for a guy isn't the best anniversary present. It's the equivalent of giving a woman the number to a plastic surgeon. I love you, honey. But what I'd really love is for you to have bigger tits. It's not exactly oh, okay. the same thing. <laughs> well. out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. Hey, Sam, you could have warned us about the eternal line to get in. I heard someone talking about the fucking Jolof Empire. That shit hasn't been around for like 500 years. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites and some people have, uh, have spares, so... so... you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. <laughs> Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobbleland Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. We so know it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So. Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like three years more. Old. Guess you got some picking to do. We'll go catch somebody. Demon guy. Sounds like he needs help. It'd be, uh, it'd be nice to do something good at the same time, right? Maybe we're gonna track down a mass murderer or something? 
kind of hoping it's not that, but yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, looks like he works at the school. I wouldn't worry about it. But maybe I'm wrong. I usually am. What's cool? There's a school in hell. Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. <laughs> what does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next stop, Bobline Park. Except there's a, uh, there's a school here? Yeah. The Nastron School of Physical Suffering and Mental Anguish. Go Wildcats! It's where demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you most, uh, most effectively. More pertinent to your personal predicament. It looks like your little soon-to-be friend Fella works there in, uh, Bobline Park. It's also where you guys just... Just went. If you remember, like, ten minutes ago? Did you go to Nastron to learn how to be a psychopomp? No. I am strictly autodidactic down here. Not to say I haven't had teachers, just, uh, not to do this job. So, uh, how'd you get Radio, this job? Radio! Almost a bobble line. Hold on to something. The, uh, the tides can be a little choppy coming in. Okay. Uh, thanks for the info. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. And, uh, just remember that when you sign for the tip. Oh, okay. So this place should look a little familiar. You got processed here. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Remember that? When you were processed? <laughs> yes, we remember. Of course you do. You don't forget a thing like that. Your first promenade through hell. All right, the guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a, what day is it? Tuesday? But, you know, whatever. It's your story. I'll be honest, now that we're actually here, I'm having second thoughts. Why? Because we picked a damn demon over a human being. Like, I know Sam seems cool, but... Ah, I think it's a bookstore. It's nice that they still let people read. Eh, check out the window display. Oh, looks like a lot of self-help books about dating, autobiographies from ex-senators, and, uh... Mm -hmm. what, what's Irene Eidsley? It's probably best we don't know. But I was just saying, like, I hope fellas, uh, neat and everything, but trying to get a demon to help, They're it's like an unnecessary me. risk. Like going for two when the free field goal is right there. Even though they say you should go for two if you're down two touchdowns in the fourth. Yeah, you're just a little steamed because we picked my plan over yours. Yeah, what a crazy-ass plan. Getting a woman a drink. What was I thinking? Oh, come on. You know that was more than a jog to the ATM. That woman wanted something else. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Look, look, yeah, I'm trying to get out of here, but... Campus security. Oh. Um, pardon me? Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. Okay, you two. I know this sack smell bad, but you can't just... We're not... No. Are you fella? Because we're here for the spare invite to Satan's party, your, um, vicar post. Oh, that. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Oh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? Yes, detectives. Very, very, uh, very good detectives. Well, I've never met a detective before, but you <laughs> sure talk the talk. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties, the, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastrod. <laughs> the job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been no. the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! What? 
Oh, yeah, these 20 something pre med idiots will hey, put themselves the in a school the mascots. Here. Uh, leopard, and lion, and a uh, she wolf. Hmm. Established at the onset of humanity's axial age to combat ignorance of the flabby creature's quickening development. I wonder if they let people take classes. Okay. Anyway, oh, this morning, Debbie down in dispatch told me the head counts up. One too many. I've already checked the grounds, so it's gotta be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in and get him? Or her? Because these Waldos are tricky. They know what I look like now. I need someone on the inside. Hey, here we are. I don't know there too quickly, but took the time. I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a backstory. A cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the plain of burning sand. I've come to try out their hot wings and... I am, uh, well, <laughs> self-explanatory, really. I'm your child. Your dead child you made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you... Yeah, looking looking good. From here, at least. I uh, left my glasses at home. But, and last but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Ooh, ooh, what about, what about... The falcon has left the nest. Oh, yeah, cool. That uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should, like, get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Um... To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not even on. Uh, maybe. Well, like, let's just see where the night takes us. And if the night takes us away from you and everything about this, then maybe the planets just weren't aligned. Okay, well, we, we'll just, <laughs> we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's, that's fine. Well, uh, whenever you're set, let's go get this. Whoa, okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They <laughs> do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Holy shit! Felicio! Oh, shit. Is that shit? It's you, isn't it? Falcon has left the <laughs> what nest. the fuck, man? I repeat, the Falcon has left the nest! You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just. <laughs> you're detectives! You said so yourself. And why would you lie about something so trivial? Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be. Uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felatio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? <laughs> Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now what are the pups in the mood for? Bang bang, sports fanatic, the hard stuff. They <laughs> include monkey droppings. And yeah, to win it. Giganticide, liquid courage, low grade light beer, filtered through an elephant's diaper. Class least favorite. <laughs> Frightening visitor. I proof brandy, thumbtacks. Finished with a drop of a fan's tears. Ling Chi. Small batch bribe whiskey. Whipped witch's milk. Usually hurts to drink. <laughs> I right, think I'll sure. try a uh, uh, Ling Chi. Alrighty, just don't drink this one too fast. It can leave a bruise. <laughs> I'm always one of the corny kind. It's kind of any. I'll have the same. I order a Ling Chi. All right, all right. Attention, everybody. Look. I know, finding ourselves in hell. It's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Boo! 
I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff. But <laughs> yeah, let's not let our untimely deaths ruin what could still be the best bachelor's party of all time. Woo! All right, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler. But it takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. Charlie, 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 Charlie. <laughs> right, so Michelle, that was my fiance's name. My angel had the keen foresight to have her bachelorette party at home. She reads in some magazine article that every wedding should have a theme, and she decides that ours is going to be opposites attract. Since everyone we ever met used to say we were polar opposites of each other. Oh, that's sweet. Opposites attract. It's like something out of a movie about competing brides or something. It is a shame that you didn't get to marry her. Yeah, well, I mean, you either live to see your soulmate waste away painfully of pancreatic cancer, or you die first, banging strippers on your rented 85% suede party bus. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. Anyways, the bachelor party. My best Are man, you? Pete and Barry, brought all this fertilizer. That's the name of a new drug that makes you forget your nieces and nephews. But after we got on the bus, things got a little foggy after that. These names. Barry, Pete, Lola. Are you taking, like, notes here? Notes? What are you talking about? Hello, strangers I just met. Oh, we were thinking of getting married, so gotta make sure we don't miss any good tips. Were you gonna get a chocolate fountain or just like a regular old water-based thing? Uh, neither. <laughs> hey, Charlie, come do some shots with me, guy. To you, dodging the biggest fucking Florida ass-wide bullet of your life. Malthus, dark sand of the sore throat that lasts more than two days. I'll, I'll be right over. Okay, well, we know a certain Pete and a certain Barry were on the bus with him. So they might not be the ones we're looking for. Unless they are. Let's check out some other, uh, perps. Potential perps. Potential perps. What's this guy's deal? Oh, Barry? Barry can never handle the sauce, so we always prank him. Honestly, I think the demons took it a little far this time. What, with crucifying him onto a dartboard? But <laughs> funny's funny. <laughs> Gotcha, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, Greg, tell me again. How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? Oh, such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like arrested by the uh, current, well, previous uh, Grand Emperor Dick Decker. Thankfully, a law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering, and I won the election in a landslide regardless. Oh, the Grand Emperor of Earth! Your Majesty, this is an honor. Uh, yeah, thanks, my, uh, my disciples. Greetings. And so is the, uh, Grand Sovereign of Terra Firma. Your responsibilities are... What, exactly? Oh, this and that. Mostly defending all of humankind from various, uh, plagues. Okay, just drop the act, pal. We know it's you. You know I'm who? You're the one that doesn't belong here. Not really. If you mean that it's unfair that a, a, a musculoskeletal disease since birth condemned me to die at a very young age, then yes. Thank you. I agree. I don't belong here. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. My sister always says, you don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. I excuse me, waitress. Could I have another... another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> you haven't been this plotted since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are you two uh, part of the groom to be stag show? I'm not sure who's part of, part of the party and who's um, who's buying booze, you know? Yeah, definitely. Charlie and us, we go way back. Used to, you know, go horse whipping and uh, hobo marking, whatever Ivy League guys do in their spare time. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Yeah, I don't really know anybody uh, here. I'm still new, but but don't don't, don't tell anybody. Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more? I'm good. It was nice meeting you. God damn it! Uh, well, that's my cue, losers. See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting 
It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out too. Crap, Lola. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Seriously though, we haven't talked to that many people yet, but Greg was just lying to that demon. Double but Eliza is acting really weird too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding! Distant memory bell! What could be ringing? The question, Mary! <laughs> maybe it's when Lola was hell monitor, nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. Hey, Wormord. How's Drix? Nice to see ya. Glad to see you're putting maximum effort into your, uh, work. Well, I don't get up in the morning just because your melatonin levels have decreased. But I showed up just now for a memory, you're Jocelyn. Want to know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run over by your neighbor. And you were thinking that the world was shit and people were done better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably done better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering. If you're any better. Actually, I was just wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet. On top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink two inches. Get the shit out of here, Wormhorn. We're all filled up with doubts <laughs> as it is, okay? Well, whatever. Just make sure you pick the right gal, local age. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Don't say anything, I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I don't know. Eliza seemed weirder to me. We could split up. But we're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza, I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Yeah, Eliza really made my arm hair stand on end. Well, let's let Greg go and question her some more. Uh, see you later, guys. Good to... Good to meet ya. Okay, well, there goes the Emperor, so let's hope Eliza or whoever here is our person of interest. Uh, Giganticide, thanks. One Giganticide coming up. All right, it's going to slow down a little bit. It was kind of interesting. Now it's getting a little... Hey, uh, Eliza? Oh, um, yes? Forget something? We should, like, totally, uh, to hang out more. Want another round? Oh, uh, I don't know. I gotta be up early, uh, sorry, to get whipped by people just like my dad. So, Eliza, can you just answer one question for us? Why are you in hell? I recall my dear old brother under the autumn light. When he was four and I was more happy than the night. What's up, man? Yeah, and you're fucking insane. You killed your brother? Lola. No, oh, yeah. Friend's pretty accurate there. I was born missing a certain capacity of reason. Some ducklings wouldn't think it fair me being here. What with my mental deformity, but I couldn't dampen it. It's like trying to not go to the bathroom, not fall in love. So who's really to blame if we're all paper dolls cut by God's hand? If he slipped a little with me. Uh, Eliza, I'm sorry I ever considered you a person I would potentially fantasize about defending from a biker gang of ninjas. Biker gang of Shallow. Milo, can I uh, get your number? Uh, he's in... Yeah, uh, new phone, but I think it's a 666-555, uh, <laughs> three's in there somewhere. I'll just look you up in the directory. Anyways, it's been a gas. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. Forever's a long time. Well, that's just great, Milo. It's obviously not that crazy bitch who has your number now. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do with that, huh? The plan is to leave, not date. And if the plan fails? 
Oh, you're gonna dry hump a fucking whatever. The point is, she's not our guy. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Maybe it. Maybe it was Greg. Who knows? And I know we didn't really talk to anyone else, but I feel like Greg was our guy, and we let him off the hook. Maybe not. This free has a. <laughs> I wouldn't pay for this. I heard this is quirky and weird, but so hey, I know got that going in. Indians, what are we watching? <sighs> the carnal malefactors are getting their asses handed to them by the virtuous pagans. Huh. What's the score? It's like soccer. The score doesn't matter until it does, but hey, at least it's boring. Hiya. <laughs> You're not, um, pre-med by any chance, are you? <laughs> <laughs> for the stirring conversation. Oh, well, we don't go outside yet. This is a hell detective story at the moment. All those drinks coming. <laughs> I'm Lola, this is... Cut the shit. I know what you're up to. Asking questions, stirring up trouble. I saw you talking to Charlie, alright? Grilling him? The point is, you're poking your nose where it don't need to be poked. That what gets you off? Watching people squirm? Aha! It's you, isn't it? How'd you put it together? How'd we put it together? I can't believe you're just admitting to this right now. I thought this only worked in cartoons. I'm sorry. That mall Easter Bunny told me I shouldn't lash out at people. The truth is, I'm not even supposed to be here. And uh, if it wasn't for Charlie, you know, I, I wouldn't be. Out with it. How'd you do it, huh? Self-asphyxiation? Those medical... Uh, pad things? I tried to drive the party bus with my erect penis. Okay. Um, I'm lost. Aha! So you do admit to putting your dick on the... Wait, what did you just say? I was just trying to make them laugh. Oh, but my cock isn't as good a steering tool as Weird I was Weird as hell. Thank God Charlie doesn't remember I'm the one that crashed the bus. Due to your maple. Due to my pork sword, yes. Okay, but wait to hold the phone. You're not the guy who snuck into hell, though? You really died in the wreck? Listen, can you work with me on this? Can we... Uh, let's make a deal, all right? If you're looking for somebody, I think I know who it is. But you can't tell anyone about my skin flute accidentally killing my best friend and almost everyone he likes. Is that fair? You're on, Pete. Now what can you tell us? Okay, that Greg kid would be the first person I'd look into. But you didn't hear that from me. Party hats. Party hats? Is this like a clue fountain? Or a waste of time. The guy has like 18 dicks and 13 vaginas drawn on him. Oh, okay. Uh, who's the Greg person? Or whatever, he said to look at Pete. We have to go outside. No, no, no. I'm, I, I got two humans working on it. Hey, how's it going? Any luck catching that creep? I'm gonna be off soon. About to just head out. Because believe me, I am ready for my shift to be over. She was in there. Pete? Some giant weirdo named Peter. He snuck in and now he's you know here just like you said lola peter i was expecting like samuel or something but uh, don't ask me why maybe because that's my brother's name uh, that's not to think about it delinquency department yeah oh hi jenny hi uh, how you doing yeah good good anyways we found the waldo <laughs> yeah it's been a night <laughs> a meat pile named peter he's in feisties right now Yeah, you know, no, it, it took longer than I thought it really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. 
They'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know, right before <laughs> condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Eh, they'll be hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen him in action. Woo! Isn't that punishment a little disproportional to the um, crime? Not really. They've seen what shouldn't be seen by living eyes. God really does not appreciate frauds of any sort, you know. It's uh, it's kind of a whole thing with him. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such such a big help. Uh, I know you did it just for the invite, but and when you get to the party, you should get that drink with me. You said you'd maybe have with me down. Good. Um, I guess if we have time. What? What did I do? I just I just wanted to drive the bus with my plonker. Just, uh, just Perfect. pretend you can't hear him. I picked the wrong name, didn't I? Huh? You tell I did. Who's, oh, well. Who doesn't find that whimsical and hilarious? Alright, get out of here, you knuckleheads. <laughs> Just uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys. Didn't mean to pick him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, off to the Satan's party. Here we go. Hey, so, should oh. we, like, Talk about what just you know Milo I I just don't want to okay I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one I just I don't want to think about it so I'm just not there are some things that are just beyond like I, I really like chocolate milk I really like it and I and I donated a lot of my time to homeless shelters and animal shelters and money to organizations and so fuck it okay I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate milk without any pontificating about how the cows are sad and the workers are sad and the truckers that ship it are sad and how the agricultural industry is fucked up in countless ways and and so on I'm just I, I am chocolate milking this uh, we kind of did this though chocolate milking it okay <laughs> chocolate milk right, so has I had the right go Or Bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you intentionally chose to track somebody down for an unknown and vague punishment instead of genuinely helping a poor soul like Linda, who is, needless to say, now permanently affixed to an eternal misery due to your direct actions. Either you thought this sounded more fun, or Milo likes to just blindly follow Lola around, which Either way, I mean, I always liked Witchfinder General too, so... Hey, Dick Salt, the plan worked out. <laughs> we're, we're going to Satan's party. Okay, so you heeded the call of justice, but was justice served? It wasn't! You chose Peter, who didn't do a damn thing but try to drive a bus with his penis! Which <laughs> is a hilarious joke that deserves to be followed through on! Ugh, that guy deserved it. I mean, he got all those people killed, isn't it? Isn't that enough? I guess we'll find out later. Okay, factoid time. I thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So you were busy accomplishing this very important mission instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way. A million pounds of chicken nuggets were consumed. <laughs> which means half a million pounds of dog food, since, well, that's what chicken nuggets are for the most part. <laughs> uh, really? 9,000 people died of literal loneliness. It can happen, kids. Get on those fuck apps. Wormhorn. Oh, okay. And, of course. Oh, wait, sorry. These are out of order. Wormhorn. <laughs> you lost the drink up, you giant ass dork. Who the hell can't stack glasses? <laughs> okay. Wormhorn, just. Oh, why the fuck are you doing this? Huh? Why do I. It's my job, Lola! It's what I was created to do! Sired by your mom using psilocybin mushrooms when she was pregnant. So... <sighs> fine. Whatever. I'll text you... I'll talk to you later. Alright. So, 
someone order a ferry? How did it uh, go with Fella? Um, fine, I guess. We got the invite, so yay. Why the long face? Personal demon dragging you down? Listen, just remember, those things are like car sickness. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Just keep your eyes on the horizon. <laughs> we'll go away on its own. Anyways, I saw that janitor, or whatever, post on Vicar. He gave you his invite, didn't he? Yep, we got the invite. We can go to Satan's party without standing in line for a million years. How proud of us are you right now? Uh, not proud at all. I barely know you that. and care even less. But want to head to Welcome Way? See about that party? Welcome Way. Let's do it. This game is pretty weird. Oh, I guess his last stepped out. He didn't hear me. Every man will have his favorite day, but few will know about them. This will... This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A uh, camel hair better, at least, than bottomless fries Friday. VIP invitation to Saints house party, that's uh... You guys are doing... You're doing well. You, you're doing good. Well, it gets so annoying. It keeps freezing like that. I don't have any poppers or noisemakers. So hopefully the ride, in my genuine amazement, will suffice. Hey, I mean, we couldn't have done it without your help, Sam. You were the steed to our... to our gallant knights. Yeah, and a uh, word of advice, if you make it back topside. Maybe don't talk like that in your first job interviews. <laughs> oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir. And uh, depending on your income level, either having to retrain schedules or carrying out the estate tax. No, it's it, it's not it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like genuinely forever. We got paired up in preschool because we were the last picked in the buddy system. And while Milo stayed in town to help his mom in her magic shop. Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Yes, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely okay. different topics. Satan's party, huh? Very exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium. Mother, don't look at these pictures and stuff. Put away the Ouija boards and voodoo dolls, kids. How about another dollop of helpful advice? This time, actually solicited. Milo, Christ, you don't need advice for how to party. You sound like Sun Sirdosh. Oh, but if I can't see, will anyone talk to me? Just use your hands and feel around until you get the vodka. Thanks, that's uh, <laughs> helpful. Happy to be of service. Time right, to party. Anyways, have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Six, sir. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last week. And now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like I don't have enough poop to worry about. Yeah, seems like it's a death style now. Wait, Satan didn't show up for work? Wider ganger, sweat cooker, of infidels. This is Milo and Lola. Recently seasoned. Yeah, congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mine in the city of Diz. And no, he didn't. Even though we had the appointment at 11, so he could sleep in. Anyways, can you help me the out? Car sounds I know what's out in the I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava starts hurting if you're in it for too long. Wait, Sam, what were your two things, uh, two pieces of advice? Was I gonna give you two? That seems excessive. How about one? I'll give you one. Do you want to hear the first thing I was gonna say, or the second thing? <laughs> oh, sorry. We just ran out of time for both. Isn't this washing bear? Uh, the second? Don't be intimidated by Morningstar. Satan? He's tall. He's had kings and queens commit atrocities in his name. And you can thank him for the Hurricanes winning the Stanley Cup in 06. <laughs> but at the end of the day, He's still just a boy. With worries. Um, okay. Text me if you need to ride somewhere. Alright. 
Uh, what do you think Sam meant by that? He's just a boy with worries. That was a weird thing to say, right? Like, he's probably not just a boy with worries. She's just saying he's probably, like, insecure about something, you know? Like, like everyone has something they're worried about, and it doesn't matter how rich or powerful they are. Oh, like that guy in a nice suit I saw crying on the street after he dropped his taco. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he has his problems. Want to skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's, please. Alrighty. Heading on up. All right, got to uh, out drink the devil. Invitations, please. Uh, yeah, we're on the list, I, th I think. Lola Wolf for Fella. He's a old demon security guard. Next. Um, Milo? I'm under the, the, the same uh, thing. Okay, move along. There's party favors in back, but don't open his fridge. We did, we did it. it. I guess all that's left is for us to uh, enter the party. Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do, and what we will do. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing, and we're gonna do the thing. Yes, exactly. And we'll be fine, so... After you. Didn't she just say after you? And then she goes up to the door first. Um... I cannot believe... Was this all a goddamn trick? I mean, I know we're in hell, but Sam seemed to be... Okay. Uh, does someone want to get that? Oh, it's my house. <laughs> the home of Jean, Barbara, and Milo. Please leave a message with a name and number and we'll get back to you when we can. Man alive, Milo. Your old man sounds very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm, asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great. I get it. Oh, I'm so glad. Kitchen? Thank you. Your memory wasn't good, but... So I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 1902. We don't have time for this worm horn. We just want to talk to your damn boss. <laughs> Sam's not my boss, Lola. I'm more like an independent laborer. Or, or like a sharecropper. And Milo's inhibitions here are paying me under the table. Lights? No, the other lights. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now, when you hear the beep, we all say our names, and that's it. Oh, fine. Wait, who cares about... Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Hey, you've reached Jean. Barbara. And I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. <laughs> Marty the Magnificent. When did you go back to that? How old were you? Like six. I wanted to be called Marty for like a... Marty, oh, and Duke for a week there. Uh, there was the summer of Charlie. Yes, yeah, so... You knew this already, Lola. Sorry, I forgot. I just... Well, we can laugh about it now. This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as flighty as she is. You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you are. But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be. And Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you okay. understand? The difference. And see. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? Wasn't some TV show version of whatever. <laughs> There's nothing complicated about it, Milo. Your dad's a dick. It's not a... It is that complicated. He just wants me to be happy, and he's trying, okay? He's trying. This is all extremely obvious psychobabble <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> we're we're so I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every animal's DNA. 
I think even hamsters get into arguments over who gets the last piece of chicken. Mm, maybe. <laughs> or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Because she's a proper lady. And you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. Fuck. Oh. Shut up, Wormhorn. <laughs> Lola, where? I don't care if you're scared. We drove all this way because you wanted to see the carnival. Well, we're here now, and you're going to hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. We're not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo. Dunk me. Throw the ball. Throw it and dunk me. Christ, lean in. Move closer. Dad, will you just lay off? I'm trying. Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people. I can't wait to play. Oh, oh, this isn't how I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. You know what? Screw this. I don't care what you think. I really don't. Ah. And screw you, Wormhorn. My dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. You know, so give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Uh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, <laughs> there are limits. Hey, Milo! Is that you in here? Lola, he's in here! Milo, Jesus! Who are you, uh, talking to? I thought there were two of you. Oh, uh... One of you and somebody else? Oh, uh, nobody important. Milo, oh god, I'm so sorry. I turned around and it was, uh, I saw a witch doing a keg stand and uh, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? Yeah, thanks for ditching me, Lola. We're even now for the time I missed your ice skating competition. We're never even for that, okay? <laughs> I hit a sextuple axle. Sure Where's the booze? This party oh, has awesome. everything. They have a ceiling in here. <laughs> you guys made it. I was, uh, you know, I was, I was waiting by the, the, the latrine. Uh, you've been having a good time tonight, fella? I have had a, you know, a few. I have, it's been a, oh, it's been a rough night for old fella here. That guy, the guy, the guy you said did it, uh, Beaker. Peter. Wasn't him, no, no, wrong person. And then the right person took a shit in the school pond. So naturally, <laughs> now I'm fired. Top titties, though, right? Hey, no, we can. We should totally vouch for you. We can tell him or or her that it's our fault. Doesn't matter. No. What? What is it even? What matters, honestly? What? <laughs> friends don't matter. They don't. Obviously, because I thought I thought we were getting to be best friends. Best friends. Right, listen, to, listen up, detectives. Take my. Oh okay, wait, li here, listen. Don't trust nobody. Don't care for nobody. Act like you care for nobody. Fella. Cause you're just gonna end up some poor, undersized for his sex statement. Sucking hell whiskey out of goddamn ashtrays. Remember that. And remember where I parked my, my scooter for me. I gotta ride that shit up. Oh, a home later. Okay. Oh, I feel like shit. Maybe we should have, I don't know, played that differently. Ah, tell me about it. <laughs> Everybody into the blood pool. Pants off, dance off. Hey, dick for brains. I'm trying to mac daddy on my home skilled here. And you <laughs> accidentally touched me. That gives me legal party rights to pound you into indiscriminate ash. Hey, he was just trying to get by. Well, he should have tried harder. Uh, we're just, just looking for, uh, uh... Hey. So I couldn't remember if you folks wanted Dr. Tibble's Vicoco or Omen Set of Ale. So I just mixed them both together. Oh, hi, Hightower. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Messrs. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Because that kind of behavior doesn't really structure well with the pack mentality I'm trying to delicately maintain. No, 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 no. You're angel of darkness. I was. Great. I'll be out on the back patio. So that's I got a terrific stock guy I want you to meet. So, that's... that's Satan. Uh, what do I look like? A dictionary? Okay, so, first impressions. Tall, 
He knows our names, which I don't like. Also, <laughs> he smells like a burning courthouse. I thought it was more like a hospital basement. How are we gonna do this? No, it's always a great party, I'm having a, a good time. If you're having a good time, Beelzebub, why don't you look like you're having a good time? Uh, I don't know. My face just isn't communicating my interior oh, thoughts. It's definitely communicating. Your head is a master orator. Trust it. I came here to get approvals. On a thousand Iron Maidens, yeah. Scary. It's okay. You're intimidated by the size of the order. There's a deadline on this. And if we miss the quarter, where are the gluttons going to go? Huh? You want a store. I can't stock them with the heretics. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about work, okay? Not tonight. It's not happening. It's the weekend. It's a Tuesday, Luke. And a school night. And I have kids. Yeah, I already saw them. They just love to have a threesome with that conquistador. Uh -huh. Honestly, just sign the damn order. If I could, I'd just sign it for you, but I can't do your swooping S well enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Piso, come on, brother. I'm joking with you. You don't, uh, he's already gone. And I'm just, uh, talking to myself now. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, uh, Satan? Uh, Mr. Satan, you, uh, you have a, re a, a really cool place here. I love the the, the, the patio and uh, is, is, is this uh, is this Sienna or, or Sienna? Is that? I'll be honest, sick in America face. Two more from the colonies. Cultural expats certainly, but it's okay. We're all immigrants here. Are you having a good time, Milo and Lola? Um, how do you like already know our names? There has to be a million people filing in a day, right? Yeah, I mean, people who don't wash their hands alone would... <laughs> Hellbound or not. But don't think that makes you two rumping, jumping generals any less special. Hey, sorry to interrupt these two dorks, but your real friends are here. Chernobog. Uh, did he bring the Pine Barrens to split? If we're running dry and this thing's only like a third over. I didn't ask. Okay, Milo, Lola, walk with me a little. Whereas the sailor told Bishop, now's the time to get extraordinarily drunk. Listen, Mr. Satan. You want to ask my permission to leave. Failing that, you want to challenge me to a drinking contest you've heard about, most probably from Sam. How far off am I? So, is the contest real? Like, it seems weird to base it all on that. Wouldn't you rather see who could lie, or steal, or kill, or program malware the most efficiently? It's a drinking contest, Milo, because drinking contests are fun, and I'd rather do that. And count the number of times you cursed out the mailman. Hail, Hail Satan! Satan. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, keep up the bad work. This whole thing was my idea, yet I can't take full credit. I didn't make the rules. I just created the escape clause for a soul every, you know, thousand years or so. We sing, we drink, we play a few games. It's more fun than doing your laundry, at least. Wait, and God, like... He must know about this, so he just doesn't, like, care? Oh, he cares. It has to make enough sense. I couldn't bring you back if you blew yourself up on the six o'clock news. But he also knows as well as anyone, if you let a little disobedience deflate the balloon a little, it won't one day just go and pop on you. So how does it work exactly? We just- Great. Hey, hey, boss, 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 Dog belly, I'm not your boss. Remember? Beelzebub runs the day to day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just That's need like a day or two time off. My baby wants to do Halloween in Cancun and I. Oh, fine, fine. Tell her why it swims. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I thought that was just another name for a second. Just give me a second here. I don't want my buddies to ding dong ditch me. <laughs> You know I'm gonna make you go home and get it if you forgot. I've got a bottle of chert spit in my pocket, all right. I bless you, my son. Milo, Lola, meet Chernobyl, Dark Minister of the Seventh Circle. Yeah, hi. 
Morgan, the Black Fiend of the High Seas. Pleasure. Vitala, <laughs> the spirit of disease and intestinal issues. And nice to, <laughs> you know, whatever. And Chad from Kingston, Ontario. How's it going? Um. <laughs> so it's uh, so it's Chernadog, Nebula, American, and uh, Dag. Sorry, I know I have a trick to remember names, but I can't remember the trick. It has something to do with uh, with counting backwards from your birthday. All right. Failure. Come on, Max. I've got the card game set up. Wait, we're just. Well, this will take two minutes. Your your darkliness. We just want to. Oh wait! You're the two that are going to make a run at the big guy, right? Do the drinking contest. What? My last shit weighs more than both of you put together. And she had just eaten three people, so... Oh yeah, I read about you on Bicker. Hey, we're stronger than we look, all right? You, you don't know why we're in hell? We're scratch and sniff to you. You don't know our, our, our layers. Yeah, we, uh, we could have been strangling bus drivers for kicks on the weekend. Children, look now. <laughs> I am your humble servant, truly. I worshipped your paws while you were still in the womb. But you don't know what soup you're ordering here. Well, how do we prove we can do this? Who the fuck is texting me right? Oh, good gravy, it's Bezel still on me about those unholy reports. What do you expect? The guy can't turn off. Polly was crawling up my butt too tonight. Whoa! Oh, God knows what. Hmm. Actually, okay. I've developed a notion. Milo, Lola, you can help me out. You can help me out and prove you can handle our little, uh, test of endurance. Interested? Uh, sure, okay. Well, what is it? Track down my brothers and sisters, the original monarchs. Apollon, Asmodeus, Beelzebub, Onoskelos, the fallen angels, like me. And out-drink them first. This way right, will so be, this be a, a bit longer. favor. Okay. You'll be getting them temporarily off my behind. While also proving you can party with beings who view stars as rushlights. And until you do, I'll be playing gin rummy in the parlor. Wait, wait, I uh, missed a denominator or something. What do you want us to do? The angels that fought God. They're the monarchs of hell now. And my old pals I used to get shit-faced with and until they turned into a bunch of humorless dicks. <laughs> Find them, I'll drink them, and I'll give you a shot. It's a golden fiddle? Hmm. It says on the plaque that John of Patmos could indeed play very well. But Charlie Daniels made up the rest. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. The devil went down in Georgia thing. <laughs> All right. One more time. For anyone whose mother just came in the room and asked them to take out the trash. If you get just two <laughs> out of four monarch seals of approval on this magical and convenient parchment, then I'll ignore my friends and let you try to, as they say, out party me. And then we'll see how special my little rumping, jumping generals truly are. Any other queries before I get annihilated? Please say no. Actually, actually, yeah. Do you, do you know why we're in hell? Actually? Right now it's 6.15 in Madrid, and there's a man setting out a dress for his girlfriend that he knows will look revealing in the day, but will be too cold in the theater they're going to. And when he makes love to her after, he will think of the actress in the film and not how he picked out a dress too cold. And when he dies 50 years from now, fat and useless, he will open his eyes and find himself here. And he will ask me the same question you are asking me now. What did I do to deserve this? The real question, Milo, is what did you do? To deserve anything else, I'll be seeing you. No. Right. Hey, it's crazy. I taught the old man how to use his phone. Uh oh. Don't forget it later. Yeah. What the hell was he talking about? What? What'd you say? We we didn't do enough. That we were. My jacket's soaking wet. We're assholes for not like. Volunteering at blind animal shelters every damn day? I volunteered. Not every damn day, and not for blind animals, but like enough days, you would think. 
Whatever, let's not lose focus. How hard could it be to get two recommendations? I mean, I got five for my college applications, but uh, we have no idea where these monarchs are or how to find them. Oh, you know who would know? No fucking Sam. Let's call her cab and ask her about it. Yeah, be right back just a minute, guys.
Hmm? So you been talking to me? Hey, uh, I'm back. Man, that's cold rain outside. I had to take the dog out. He wouldn't go where it's raining. Now it's raining harder, and he'd go <laughs> even more rain, cold rain. He was not happy, but neither was I. <laughs> and crazy is, back. is Huzzah here? We're going to have a story time with Crazy. She's going to tell me how her work went before we continue after party here. Because there's no, like, part does in the game where they're not talking. So, we'll leave well, it to you, you remember me telling you how the uh, boss said one of the rep guys was talking about the beer cooler, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, so I asked her, I said, well, can I, can I start moving shit around and everything? She was like, sure. I said, well, I want to completely take a shelf out. And she was like, oh, you can't do that. She said, well, I want me, you mean back in the cooler? I said, yeah, I mean, in my cooler, not the doors. In the cooler. She was like, sure. What are you going to do? And I was like, because I don't want them to put all that beer on the top shelf anymore, so I have to keep climbing up to grab it. Because it's one of the beers that, like, everybody buys. Like, it goes empty all the time. So, uh... Like Bud or something? Huh? Like Bud or something? No, no, no. One of the cheaper. <laughs> it's called oh. Edge. Oh. Um, and she was like, okay, well, how do you get one of those things? And I said... I don't know. You tell me. You're the manager. <laughs> she said, well, I think one of the reps have to bring it in. She said, well, I have to ask them. I said, well, all right. But I don't really see any. And as I was uh, uh, coming out and doing all my stuff, getting the trash and everything, one of the reps comes in. And he's like, where's the keys? And I was like, are you one of the reps that's having a problem with my cooler? And he was like, what? I said, evidently one of the reps is having a problem with the cooler. Are you it? And he'll, and the manager starts yelling, no, 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 that's not Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, Kevin, no, Kevin's a little bit shorter, got more of a belly. And I was like, oh, okay, because I was about to give you some help. You were him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I said, they wanted to start giving me hell about uh, telling me I should make the cooler as pretty as the other cooler. I said, <laughs> I'm, I was about to lay into you. <laughs> I said, just checking now. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess it's all here. I guess it's all I heard it. Oh, well. He was doing just two raid, but that should have been over now. That was like an hour ago. Two hours ago. Oh, well. <laughs> Want another story? It's nasty, though. No, not really. Yeah. Somebody's draws right away. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's all right. I was in there peeing because I was like, I'm gonna go sit down on the pot and just pee and just like take up time. And because uh, I could have came home a half hour early, but I was like, hey, no, let's go kill the time. Uh, yeah. And uh, boss came in there to go to pee. And she said, What is that smell? <laughs> Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's draws from back behind the toilet. Somebody took off the drawers because right. they couldn't make it to the bedroom. All right, back to game, man. <laughs> you could be nasty. <laughs> Why don't you quit? This is weird how we're like walking though. It's, there's like stuff on the walls. <laughs> what the? Wow. You guys are just good. Thank you, dear. Did you spin around on her witch hat? Ah, ah, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. We learned everything we know from Marie Laveau and Mother Suspiriorum. <laughs> Alright. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. That was one of the only lines of the Bible I remember from Revelations. Looks like Satan took it as a compliment.
All right, the street you grew up on, plus the reason you're down here is your stripper name. <laughs> well, then another one popped over and I couldn't even read it. Read it. This thing in the right way. I'm not sure. Oh, that's back at. Am I supposed to go back out of here? Probably not. Let's see what's the other way. Oh, I'm not sure. So, what'd you do to get an invite? I got really into massages, giving them, getting them. And I, you know, just kept trying to bring that up in every conversation. <laughs> oh, I trashed an oil tanker in the Bering Strait. Hey, you know what's really good for that? A massage. Okay, keep the serving area clear, please. Thank you. A Yanker and a Grammy. How are you two this imperfectly fine evening? Uh, pretty, pretty good. I'm Father Chocoblock, and I'll have the distinct pleasure of serving you tonight. Menu's up top. What do you be starting with? Judas chair, blended scotch, a dash of warfarin topped with a with an undigested chair. Global extinction, on out the lemon, cursed brandy, crushed teeth lit by a supernova. Great fall, one hateful mammalian brain served in canary wine, vermouth, and spit. Forgotten gospel, five ounces of blood of a diseased prophet, a hand of an idolin maraschino liquor. I'll take a global extinction. One global extinction, sure thing. We're supposed to find them. Where's them? In this party or somewhere else? And who are you, big guy, huh? Oh. Having a good time? I thought all dogs go to heaven. Uh, yeah, most do, but not oh. Baphomet. That's Satan's prize hunting dog. He used to use them to track down wayward souls, but uh, typically he just feeds them treats while high now. Sounds more fun, to be honest. Alright, that was an achievement. Bet the damn dog. <laughs> well, I guess I'm supposed to go out of here. It's probably just a one stream game, if I I'm not I'm not gonna finish it, but I'll probably just finish the rest off the stream sometime or other. It's got some kind of funny dialogue, but it's weird. Go all the way to the bottom or take the long way. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Check your ankles, wallet chains, uh, purses. Okay. Let's see what it says when I pick the taxi. Right, uh, tell me where I need to go. Yeah, Fornius already told me. I don't think I can. Give me a break, Sam. That's... You can make it. What the shit else are you doing tonight? Uh, my job. Who 
Who gave you that job? Erdog, seriously, I'm self-employed. Says so right on my tax returns. Just... I know why you don't want to. I know you've been through it before, but... Everyone needs to participate. It won't work if it's just half or half a bit one. I'm... I'll... I'll, I'll think about it. Okay? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, okay, just don't overheat, because time's running out. Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? We, uh, we need to start finding some demons called the... the Monarchs, I guess? The Monarchs? We said... Satan said there were four of them. That we should find two and how to drink them first, because... because... actually, I don't really... I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and, uh... Apollyon? Yeah, Apollyon. Apollyon. Okay. Well... Oh no, we'll see her earlier the, tonight, the but again. she just went on vacation, so... That one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the, uh, the sealed knot. It's a demon's only pub. Okay, what about the other one? Asmodeus. <laughs> Al's going through some shit. Some people have lost weekends. These guys haven't kind of lost a decade. But whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. Which one we're going to? Oh, it's as I did say down the corner. Alright, we'll do Apollyon, I guess. Let's see if Apollyon's still a fan of whiskey sours. Next stop, Little Rontalia. Oh, chat's been slow today. The Zah must be busy. <laughs> They've got a person come in in the beginning and said, so, said hello, that's we'll it. I'll give you some exposition. Sure. The fellas and fillies are trying to out-booze the monarchs. They were originally angels of the highest order, like seraphim. <laughs> they'd fly around God's throne all day, telling him how great he is, and and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence, trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles. But anyways, one day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am, and decided they deserve some sort of uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent huh. of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation, and the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, uh, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. <sighs> Satan, uh, Satan really screwed up there, didn't he? Only if you think living a free life is screwing up. You're still on your parents' cell phone plan, right? It's cheaper. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> Polyon and Morningstar, oh, they go way back. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a game pass. Yeah. Go way back. I'll be able to play it. Monarchs, the Seraphim, but... You know, it's not on there yet, God though. was still oh, okay. scheming geometry. They were just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Who was the first guy? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Ugh, everybody always asks, have you met Adam? Is he nice or a dick? Does he have Jesus abs? The asshole didn't even have a name. <laughs> Guys, he was barely bipedal for Christ's sake. He would poop in his hand and throw it at monkeys. Which I mean, it's funny. Don't get me wrong. Still. <laughs> All right. That's uh, disappointing. Anyways, after her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, 
Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Astron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a like, like a retrial or something? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the Courts of Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually Supreme. Huh, I thought about going to law school for a minute. I, uh, I switched majors a lot. Only about a hundred million times. Well, what's the point of majors when the world's burning? Okay, at least that was the... Wasn't that the title of your application? I was just going to say that. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So how, how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Not likely. All right. Mr. Andy, have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure. What, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just, uh, just straighten my hair a little? My mother, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off. Is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deep, but I am not so inventively rude. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Oh, okay. There. Your, your madre would be proud. Or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Alright. Yep. Pointless. Interesting uh, uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Good God, I hope not. I don't need people knowing how many times I've looked up how to spell banana. <laughs> if that's your floor, I think you'll be okay. Everything over here. Blood waterfalls. Yeah, let's not go too far out of the way. We'll probably gotta go there anyway. Sealed knot. I think this is the place. 
Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm <laughs> sure there are Walmart. other more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve. Uh, listen, bouncer guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, Calico uh, Magnavox. hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Okay, so, yeah, chill out, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's done. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. And I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. Do you really think of me as someone who's looking to humiliate you at every turn? You can only pants someone on the jungle gym so many times, Lola. But look. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, all we need to do is put together a costume, slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon, so... so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah? Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, so when you told Sam about how I was gonna work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know, you, you didn't seem... Uh, or you did seem a little, like... I, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need, like, a thesaurus. Annoyed? Even though, you know... You're the one moving. What the hell does that mean? It means if anyone should feel like betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsauce, so get fucking frosty. The Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like... No, it's a one-cup mashed-up nose weevil, a half-cup body butter, three eggs... What kind of eggs? Uh, soft-shell turtles if they're in season, a little flour, for flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzel Hau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzel Hau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh... Well, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit! Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone, quickly! Your dress, it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before, and it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have! The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. 
<laughs> you can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials and calls. For this, <laughs> you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats. Good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Eh, uh, what's the holdup? Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's ebola bellied rats? Do you, my dear? Oh, shit, son, this, it's... Fuck, I just love eating it so much. <laughs> hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it! Holy shit, let's go, guys. Yay! Come on, let's get some candy, yeah! <laughs> oh, yes, come on, there's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay, now... Hand over the dress. Hand, hand over the, the... Please, just kill me, please, Lola, quickly. Okay, follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits, you're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh, yeah, you're like way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You <laughs> You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much. It's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry. Hey, it's not too late to switch, okay? If little mister... Of course I'm fine with it. Of course I'm cool with it. Of course it's too late, and I am cool with it. If a demon sees us change, it's... We're screwed, so let's... I'll press on. We're pressing on. Just take it easy. Just stop humping my I'm neck. Not humping your neck. Just stop rubbing your crotch <laughs> on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm. Uh, right, just forget it. Telly ho, telly, telly forth. Let's just get to the boss. Hey. To the hey, welcome back, Azar. I thought maybe you left for good. This time, cause this game. Where you were caught and says weird. <laughs> Because I was going away because you said I was gone. No, I think he's gone for that. <laughs> hey, you missed story time with crazy. You still don't have. Uh, I think Dead Rising 4 was on Game Pass. I played a little bit of it. We're meeting a Polyon in there, Footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. I, got, I bought Call of Duty uh, Modern, Modern Warfare well, yesterday. Another beautiful day. But I want to try it out first for. Okay, well to do demon. Very good together. Up scale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andreofus. And oh, he baby. is my handler. <laughs> Shut your pie hole, human! Before I yeah, I want to get the hang of it a little bit. <laughs> Let you play it first. Oh, my apologies. Excuse me. Uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. Move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. <laughs> Good evening, madam. Right this way. Avert your eyes, surf. I was braining insurance agents when you were still suckling at your dragon's teat. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. Yeah, playing Call of Duty Mobile made me want to try like get a new the new Call of Duty. I was like. 
got to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. Yeah, that was pretty annoying. What are you saving up for college? <laughs> huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, all right. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy oh, shit, the, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. All uh right. -huh. Boy, this is... I should take notes. They should let more people in here. Whoever can't see this is really missing out. Oh, thanks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere, cause. Hello, fellow, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I, can I help you with something? This is funny. <laughs> we look uh, pretty similar, right? Don't you think? Yeah. A classic summer style down here, right? Wow, supermodel convention show up. What can I get you? Ford and squander. Whiskey, sulfur, hexafluoride, robot parts, red dye number three. <laughs> Blue devil, rich asshole. <laughs> Potato vodka, cigarette butts, the wailing of injured children, melted, and tongue. Tony anus? I don't know what that is. Grand Exhibitionist. Bourbon Mint Sugar Frog Frog Vocal Sack. Hearse Chaser. Gumption. Horse Saliva. Rock Salt. Lots of gin. Let's chill out. I guess we'll go with the Blue Devil. They're usually rich <laughs> that way from birth, but if you want to pick it, pick a damn day. <laughs> Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Uh, demons like me don't get sick, pal. My insurance will cover a small nation of very unhealthy. Your insurance, huh? That sounds like something two humans disguised as one demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Hi, uh, mind, mind if we... Smell that? It smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I'm not quite ready to order yet, plebe. Give us, give me a, a minute. Oh, fuck you. You think I'm the help? <laughs> <laughs> With that suit, why wouldn't he? Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. Oh, okay. I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it bifes. God, how do you stand this garish oaf, Polly? Hey, watch who you call an oaf. That's one letter from loaf, and I do not like bread. <laughs> do I know you? Mm -hmm. If you did, you'd remember, trust me. It's not every day you get to meet someone who wears two watches to bed. All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? Um, one grand exhibitionist for me. Please. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adriel Fist, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. <laughs> and I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, newly counsel for the who gives a shit firm of I'm making this up. 
How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm a person. A person? A Braxis person of the fourth circle? I didn't recognize you without the, uh, yeah, the, the, the headdress. <laughs> oh, give me a break. A Braxis. I'm glad we're running into you. I know my brother, Beelzebub, was going to ask for a report on the latest tortures. What is the Fourth Circle doing these days about people who are miserly? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd be curious, too. Um, uh, maxing out their credit cards, if I have anything to do with it. No greater punishment, really. How are you supposed to buy a jet ski with bad credit? God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. Hey, hey, look who it is. Gerald. I'd like you to meet Abraxas Quincy Person Esquire, Jr. MD? B MD, right. Ah, uh, pleasure. So anyway, Rory stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had a butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Abraxas person, Esquire, whatever? I was just about to ask the same question. Oh, where do I work? You know, I, uh, I had to call out sick this morning because of an eye problem. I couldn't see myself working today. <laughs> all right, you got me. That was, <laughs> oh, that was an okay one. Okay, cats and kittens, trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, they won't work, too, eh? Wait, guys, Polly isn't... our... <clears throat> oh, my controller cut out. Uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? You uh, might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn chalk. That's weird. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Something <laughs> secretive. But uh, I'm sorry. Are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no. Go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but... You know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly... Yeah, I want to check that out sometime. The new Harley Quinn. Affairs? Cartoon. It's just, uh... Lucifer's been... Oh, it looks interesting. ...source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think... I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. What, like a hostile takeover? How would that even work? Beelzebub's been running things for practically a millennia now, and Satan, if he's not careful, he's looking for another fall. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but a lot of little clips I've seen now. Successfully it. pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get like excited about it, but yeah, let's let's not get distracted from the uh, the smaller picture here. We just want to get home, not necessarily involved in any interdemon corporate power struggles here. Let's just find a polyon and outdrink the judge. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, a Braxis Quincy person? Hey, I got a joke for you. I'm tall, right? I'm like fucking tall. People used to say I'd trip <laughs> on a rock and hit the moon, right? Uh, you can, uh, you can oh, see it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. 
Chinese are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Oh, well, haha! -ha. Isn't this, isn't this interesting? Oh, reminds me of uh, an old, you might be a redneck joke. It goes, you're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. A drink. But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that matter. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, John. <laughs> Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story. Correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more. To annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Uh, um... How? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's <laughs> Office. Uh, seriously? Yes. Um... Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 are we? What? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, what's happening? You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Abraxas. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, Meow. or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Ready? I suppose huh. as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh brought up to speed they'll learn on the go it's fine they're professionals professional is what they are hey if you say so already hands and feet inside the cart at all times please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side kids <laughs> all right you uh you want to get in on this Sent you to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal Weird. is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Abraxas Quincy Person, Esquire Jr. Huh? I need a drink. Yeah! Yes! Here, here! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. Alright, what do we want? Uh, morning... Murdron? Uh, European police siren, mayonnaise, hot sauce. So we you up. Double talk. Two shots of well whiskey and vodka. Slurs, turpentine, team up. Rabbit's head. 
charming. Children's cereal, bourbon, divinely conferred charisma. Let's double talk. Please, certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. <laughs> Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. <laughs> All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tenneville. Yeah, hi. Cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit. This is ours. I mean... The one Polly wants thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why? Another no. open and shut case. Stop blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, mm. rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti... I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. Master! I just want to say that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? E yes, whoever said that? The warlock <laughs> died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. No, I, I heard Roberto confess just earlier tonight. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, whoever said that must know something. <laughs> okay. Seth, that's impossible. Roberto's an innocent man. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not going to give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. So anyways, here. Alright. Set him on fire. <laughs> okay! Well, that went a different way than it normally does. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you! Guilty. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remanded for processing in the morning. Mr. Spaghetti. Thanks everyone for coming out tonight. The high courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial oh, fanaticism, we got, we got 20 minutes. I have to wrap this up. Power, and Reebok fuel pump sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye. <laughs> pump up your life with Reebok. I don't feel good about what we just did, Milo. Sending Roberto to hell? That we should have just rolled the dice there. Maybe tried working another monarch. I don't know. Listen, Polly. Apollyon must know something we don't. Why else would it be so important for her to keep Roberto in hell? I just wish I didn't have to see his face when he... when he realized he wasn't getting acquitted. This is an innocent man to hell. Milo? Lola? Uh, no. Yeah, it's you. Your immediate presence is requested. And this ain't a request. Mm. Go to first and he served right. 
She's waiting for you at the school district. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. Giant gate of hail. The sign says that giant door is the, the 87th Propyleum to the Nine Circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are cock road to eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockrow. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. Where is it I'm supposed to go? Oh, okay. Back to the first and Izzard thing. Yeah, Wednesday I'll probably stream uh, Modern Warfare. I should get to play a little bit by then. Uh, it was downloading all afternoon and evening yesterday. <laughs> so I haven't had a chance to try it out. I try and climb in front and like steer? Not that I want to, but I'm nervous of careening into like an evil buoy or something. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help us. She has to have like a uh, remote well, way to remotely control this thing. Mm, well, I was just saying I'll be streaming Modern Warfare Wednesday. I should get a chance to try it out by then. It was downloading all afternoon and evening yesterday, so I didn't get to play it. She's just practicing for college. What was the. You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend after I get alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's my turn. Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective. So self -aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. Everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Take us back to Sam, Wormhorn, right now. We're halfway there. The night's halfway over. We don't have time for... You have all the time in the universe, Milo, because you're not getting... You know what? Never mind. We're skipping ahead. You're getting me all flustered. <laughs> let's just... Let's just go back. Wormhorn. You know, I bet your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be... Oh, they would be really impressed. Well, I played Call of Duty Mobile... <laughs> Before stream today for a little bit, I won the battle royale game. And then you out party a monarch. Of yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, doodle, are you ever gonna get a car, or are you still throwing away your money saving dolphins or something? Oh right, they wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still, you don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know. Uh, do your sisters really sound like that? Not that I can complain. My sister sounds like the bad seed if she wasn't struck by lightning. Grew up and followed an archaeologist named Steve to New Mexico. They don't they don't sound exactly like that, <clears throat> so I'm not that good with the colloquialisms, but it's close enough, okay? Previously on Oh uh, yeah, I'll be uh we had a past marriage. waiting on uh, the son at uh and lived in Detroit with three daughters. At school after this, after I leave. Wife, Lola 
was mom. So probably about three o'clock like Eastern. I'll probably play a round or two. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. Maybe one so round of Royale. Probably be all I'd be able to get in. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner and pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that it's fine, Milo. It's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid. Yeah, yeah. I don't care for a fortnight. Don't even engage. It's like it's like <laughs> what every lawyer with tattoos tells you: don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture? I think I only did on Bow good on Bow Royale on the mobile game because the controls are wonky. Anyway, so everybody had the trouble. <laughs> anyway. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their consideration. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal site. Okay, more and more. She's got her film, I think. Uh, like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision That's of part of this one born here. Yeah. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the Almighty, in fate. Oh, she said she did, but then Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Yeah, no, we're definitely not here because Lola read the Odyssey of the HMS Beagle or whatever. Uh, don't be so sure. God doesn't really appreciate vanity. It's not vanity. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because I can at least do that, Wormhorn, okay? I can care. I can, I can care even when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very <laughs> nice people, they are my family. And you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam! Where the fuck have you been? We were... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this zip code so close to hell then? Ugh, fine, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> and uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So, sorry. Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do we even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? Let's see how I pre-ordered it. So, you two boxcar <laughs> children never told me where you wanted to head to next. What, the toothbrush thing? Is that what you're talking about? Polyan is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Well, I hope so. I probably will finish this game sometime. Because it's kind of interesting. We've got this weird dialogue stuff. And a lot of it, some of it's kind of boring. Yeah, she's uh, that that uh, one toothbrush thing. Uh, oh, what's it called? Quip. <laughs> That's what they were making fun of there. I think. All right, I got about ten minutes. I might be able to get through another scene. Am I supposed to go in here? No, oh, there she was. Hell. 
literally. <laughs> Hell. You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, what? I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Um, how do you even know that? I'm a seraphim, dear. I've looked through the heavenly telescope into every hazard of time. I can tell by how you tie your shoes what you think you want out of life. You both did well. Roberto's being transferred to the Seventh Circle as we speak. I know you don't feel it, but you did a good deed here tonight. Which, I shouldn't have to tell you, is very rare in hell. Polly, just, what's going on? Why'd we do that to that guy? What do you want with him? What's, what's Chernabog got to do with this? Let's have a drink. Come on. Contests of drunken endurance are as old as simians. But the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Serfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Man, thank God we didn't have to worry about that shit anymore. Now it's just college loans, the energy crisis, global poverty, child mortality, people uh, shooting each other. Well, <laughs> you have sewers and sanitation now, and I'm sure artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but <laughs> until then, you can get toilet paper online. So. It's kind of, kind of fun. The point is, people have always drunk to excess drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day. And you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So, what are you saying exactly? That, what, that getting drunk is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Because, yeah, I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except, Animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan yes. doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. Where are we supposed to have the drinking contest? Upstairs, I guess? Or, dang it, waste my time all over here. Yeah, I got that Battle Royale game I did right before I streamed. I got uh, 10 kills and one, one, one thing. And it definitely wasn't bots this time. I'm level like 17. <laughs> This right here. Finally! How long does it take to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys. Hey, Roberto thanks, man. a piece of something <laughs> happening tonight. Probably got lucky because the controls are so you did what I asked. touchy on touch, touch screen. Everybody else is having trouble too. Going forward. <laughs> Sound good? Polly, seriously, are you are you trying to take over hell? Focus on getting my seal, Lola. Once you're gone, this will all have been like a bad dream. Whenever you're ready. Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a two, and. Come on, Lola, you're falling behind. Oh, whoops. You're falling behind. Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning. Ah. <laughs> oh damn it. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a uh, good look. Pick up the face, Lola. Shit, this ain't easy. Let's go, Lola. Let's go. Oh. Hurry it up. Hey, oh, if someone who doesn't like to party or whatever, you're pretty good at this, Apollyon. Yeah, well, uh, I've lived a few lives. 
I know this is important to you guys, so... You get it no matter what? <laughs> okay. You should see what I can do with a yo-yo. Walk the dog and everything. Well, if there isn't anything else, I should really get back to my soon-to-be eventful night. Uh, do you, by chance, know how we died? Because, uh... Because I really can't remember. Well, wait, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Because it's not a truth for everyone. Yeah, I... Car accident. The stoplight at Oak Grove. Guy didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Well, okay. Okay, okay kids. Look to the mad prophet. Milo we three want to hours fast to our senses and to our faith in them. And think their consequences through to the end. Think about the consequences of tonight. Before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. <laughs> the second thing was weird because it was wobbly. What do you think that means? <laughs> Who knows? All I know is I hope we did the right thing with poor Roberto. No, I'm, I'm sure we did. Probably seemed like a, a, well, maybe not a good egg, but a less hell-spoiled egg. I'm sure she had a good enough reason to want him here. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. So as long as you do the thing they ask, you get the steal no matter what, I guess. So I gotta get one more. And then it's off to out drink the devil. <laughs> Alright, it's saved right there. So I'm gonna wrap up here. So, do you want to talk about how we sent an innocent man to be torn apart by wild boars every day? Oh, uh, Roberta? Yeah, we'll stop there. It'll make me pick up right there anyway. Wanna play again? Oh, well, thanks everybody for watching this weird game. <laughs> we'll be back, uh, should be Wednesday with some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, thank you, Zahn. See you in about 10 minutes or so, Zahn. We'll play a match of Call of Duty while I'm waiting out there, waiting on the sun. See y'all next time. Bacon's out of here.